Hello, Central. I'm Zoe. And I'm Kieran. Today is Wednesday, November 6th. You mean Friday? I know, right? No school tomorrow. But teachers have to go to teacher's convention. What do they do there? I don't know. Convene? And why is it in Atlantic City? It's not like public school educators have money to burn on gambling. It is National Saxophone Day. The jazziest instrument! And National Nachos Day. The cheesiest day. Would you stop? Here's what's happening at Central. The next meeting of the Peer Leadership Club will be held on Wednesday, November 13th, during Block 5 in Room 301. All are welcome to attend. For more information, please see the GOAT, Miss Billig. It is time for Artist of the Week. I'm Ryan, here with our Artist of the Week. I heard starting next week, the Artist of the Week will be awarded a parade in their honor. Sorry, Izzy. One week too early. Anyways, I'm here with senior Izzy, who is just as amazing as art as I am knowing things about hockey. So tell me what your favorite art medium is. So my favorite art medium is any kind of painting, mostly acrylic paint. I don't love watercolor, that's what I did here, but any kind of painting I've always really enjoyed. What about the piece you brought? Can you tell me about it? Um, this was done my junior year. I, it's called Macro Watercolor. We had to pick a picture in nature mm -hmm. and a really zoomed in picture, hence macro watercolor, and we had to watercolor it. It took me quite a few months actually. I think I finished it in like January and I started it at the beginning of November. So it just took a lot of patience, but I really am proud of the outcome. What class did you make it for? I made this for Honors GNT3 last year. For winning Artist of the Week with our extensive budget, we have the best trophy in Trophy Town. It is our softball trophy. <sighs> wow. Congrats. Thanks again, <sighs> Izzy. You keep on keeping on. I'm Mariah reminding you that art is life. She was joking about the parade, right? Who knows? Key Club is having a food drive for Flemington Meals on Wheels. Food is collected in the house offices. Item like boxes of saltine crackers and applesauce packages can be collected. Scan the QR on the commercial and the collection boxes for more information. Online orders from Sneaker Plus placed through the school store will be arriving tomorrow, Wednesday, November 6th. Please go to room 648 to pick up your order. There is nothing but practices today, so we have no games, matches, meets, or events to mention in Central Sports. So let's move right into the Central Weather Update. Brought to us by Mr. Gatto's 8A Block 4 Meteorology class. Good morning, Central. And I want to say a very special morning to Mia. And me has the weather for ya. It'll be mostly sunny today. The high will be the same number as what we call the early records. In the first half of the 20th century, all flat disk records made 78 revolutions per minute. That, look, that's reaching. I think we both know that is a reach. Tonight will be mostly cloudy and a cold with a low of 51. As for tomorrow, the temperature will still be warmer than usual as the high gets to 69. Tonight, a cold front arrives, bringing colder temperatures with it. There's a small chance of early evening showers. Otherwise, it'll be partly clo cloudy with a low of 43. That's all I got. That's it for today. I'm Kieran Gohill. And I'm Zoe Wong. Thank you as always for watching, and have a great day.
Three, two.